Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought we could talk about some of the new stuff coming out. As always, it's been a second since we've done this and I thought it would be fun to get caught up on what's out there. I feel like the last month or so, really the year, the last, the whole year, beginning of this year, I've been a little preoccupied behind the scenes and also this whole week with the launch of the Odin's Eye collection that I'm a part of, the Perfect World collection, you guys already know, the Sea Talk palette, as well as the Flora Story palette, the Planet Spirit palette with Betty Jean and Amanda. Like that's been a big part. So it goes without saying that that collection's out, but I kind of want to talk about other stuff. Like I feel like I can never give my thanks enough to you guys for the support and the love for this collection. Um, so I'm going to say it here one more time. Thank you so, so much for everyone who ordered and even the people who haven't ordered, just commenting, supporting me throughout the years, like everything, all of that is just so amazing. And I thank you guys so much. But with that, there's other makeup out there. There's other things to talk about. So that's kind of the plug for that here. Let's talk about what else is out. <laughs> let's see what else is happening out there in the makeup world. I'm excited to dig into that with you guys, so let's get into it. All right, first things I've been seeing, and I feel like this is pretty new. This is the Snow White and ColourPop collection. It's like a Disney-themed collection. There's a palette. There are some what look like blushes, super shock blushes, yes. There's this really cute hand mirror. There's like this apple lip scrub. They really get you with the packaging on those, let me tell you and then a few other lip products as well. I mean, packaging on this, I do think like 10 out of 10 for the most part. Like I love the little poisoned apple. I wish that it had the poison dripping. You know how, I have an ornament actually. Oh, I had an ornament. Oh my gosh, okay, don't spiral, don't spiral. Anyway, um, I had an ornament that was the poisoned apple um, until they all got stolen. And so I'm partial to this design for sure, but I kind of wish that the apple actually had the poison dripping. Like somehow that was actually incorporated into the packaging, but it's a lip scrub. I mean, cute, cute as hell, like, right? Like that's so cute. The palette itself, I mean, it pretty much directly takes inspiration from Snow White's dress. Like it's all the colors you'd expect. There's a pop of blue, a pop of red, there's that golden yellow and then some neutrals in there. I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna like this if you're a Snow White fan, if that's like one of your favorite Disney things, you know, I think that this is a collection that will do well. I also think they did a really great job with the mirror. Those things I feel like are really collectible and only until like the last like year and a half have I actually like, been using mirrors like this because I, I'm trying to think of what my setup used to be. I used to have like this big old mirror in front of me. Oh man, that is like bringing me back <laughs> a lot of years ago. But now I just use the mirrors in products that I'm using or this, like one of these, I have an Odin's Eye one somewhere. Those are the two that I have. So I definitely think these can be really useful and helpful um, in a different way than I used to because I used to never use them before. So I'm kind of like, what do people even do with that stuff? But I'm like, oh, actually practically use it. That is totally a thing people do. I used to not even use the mirrors in palettes or anything before and now I use them all the time So when a product doesn't have a mirror, I definitely can tell I'm like, oh shit I got to use something else. So anyway, I think it's a cute little collection I like that. It's not too big. The blush colors are really beautiful Like it's pretty concise while still feeling like a lot. It's cute. I'm not gonna purchase this I'm not interested in it personally, but I do think it's a cutie pie. I feel like naturally it's just blushes 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 I feel like going into spring and summer. It's just the perfect time for blushes on top of like like blush is just having its moment. It still is having its moment. Whether it's cream, whether it's powder, it is still in full effect, I feel like. So House Labs is coming out with five new color fused blushes. These are really beautiful, super poppy, super fun. Like I definitely wanna try them. They're a hybrid powder blush. It's supposed to melt into the skin, be buildable color. I don't know if they are shimmery or not. It's kind of hard to tell. I think they might be matte, but they're just really blurring and kind of velvety. But I. I definitely would love to try that. I haven't tried anything from the new House Labs relaunch since they've like gone into Sephora. I had stuff on my list to try and I just haven't done it yet. I even have a sample of the foundation like sitting in my drawer. I need to try that. Maybe we'll do that soon. <laughs> but I think some of these are really pretty. I don't know what color I'd get. I really love Watermelon Bliss. That's like the one really calling out to me, but I just love those kind of like watermelon, even kind of warmer, brighter, poppier reds for summer, like on the lips. Like I think it is just so pretty. So I do think that they're really pretty and I definitely think they're going to be beautiful for spring and summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick one up, but they're definitely tempting. Another blush that I saw, this one is from Armani and it's the Luminous Silk Glow Blushes. I believe these have a little bit of a sparkle to them, a little bit of a sheen, but it's still supposed to be skin 
like it's not supposed to be like a highlighter or blush lighter blush these look like they're gonna be really beautiful too I feel like their colors are a little bit more muted there's still some poppy colors in here but I think even the formula of these is probably gonna be a little less intense and I think that might be nice at least for me every day but I think that those look really pretty too probably gonna be pretty expensive just because it's Armani like that's kind of how it goes but I do think that those look pretty as well I love drawing a blush I have been super happy with so many of the blushes I've tried this year and I still like them I still like them <laughs> I'm on the blush train okay I'm on it let's talk about this fun collection I'm not a big Chucky person but this is glam light and Chucky glam light is like at this point notorious for collabing with different IP out there frosted flakes I feel like it was very food centric at first they had like the pizza palettes they had the like easy bake oven kind of palettes and now they've really branched out I think as their brand has grown to some different stuff and I actually thought this was hip dot at first like I didn't really see and I thought it was hip dot but it's not it is glam light and this is the Chucky collection it came out like for Valentine's Day like on Valentine's Day and you know this isn't the palette for me because it is so dark and grungy but for the people that this is for I know that they're just like ready like people who love wearing dark eyeshadow these burgundies these blacks like that's what they do that's what they love that's their aesthetic like this is the palette for them everything about it is delivering I am sure I am sure for them like the actual inspiration the packaging the colors all of it like it is just unabashedly this collection it just has its own theme its own perspective and it's giving that so I do think the palette is really cool and fun for the people who would want it also a little mirror in this palette I could see people like really just eating up the whole collection except there is this blush <laughs> and it has two hearts and um you know from pictures at least it does seem like the blush is the same it's just split for essentially the aesthetic of like looking like two hearts but really it is the same color I think that there was a bit of a missed opportunity there to do something like any uh, like a highlighter and blush duo two different blushes like something it is that trendy trendy hot pink blush like that is the blush color right now just anything hot pink like that that could be somewhat in any way considered kind of maybe a dupe for the dior one like that is what every brand's coming out with i swear um <laughs> so i think that's a trendy color of a blush to put in here i don't know if it kind of goes i don't know you have to let me know what you think i don't know what blush they should have put in here actually uh that goes with the palette but maybe not too the same <laughs> i do think that's pretty funny so yeah i think that's like a really fun collection and i kind of like that it came out during Valentine's Day. I think we see a lot of those collections come out during Halloween and you know that time of the year but um, there are horror lovers like throughout the year. I feel like I wouldn't call myself a horror lover and <laughs> that sounds it's hard to say horror horror lover but I do like suspense. I do like thriller. I like psychological thriller like I recently saw Infinity Pool. I started Skinamarink. I'm not sure about that one but I definitely feel like those are the movies sometimes I'm the most attracted to especially as of lately like the recent movies coming out. So anyway um, I think it's a, a fun little collab. I'm not gonna get it but I think it's kind of fun. Okay this is a skincare product and I definitely want to try this out. You guys know I talk about my pores. I talk about my I talk about a lot of stuff but I have been talking about my pores a lot and this is from Glow Recipe which you guys Guys already know I'm a pretty big stan of like I want to try it so this is the strawberry BHA pore smooth blur drops pore refining and blurring like all the buzzwords all the marketing words are just targeting my brain I'm like yes 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 <laughs> I would like to try you although I've been going back to the niacinamide because some of you guys were like niacinamide helps I had just been trying other things enjoying other things and I went back to those glow drops and I do feel like even in the short amount of time that I've been back to them they are helping along with that NARS foundation I am telling you it's <laughs> beyond good. I have it on right now a very small amount so small and it looks so I'm just very happy No green color corrector even like what the heck, but anyway, I want to try this product back to back to where we're going This product definitely has my name all over it as a primer. I definitely want to try it I didn't love the strawberry serum that came out. That's like kind of similar to this line I'm assuming but I'm willing to give this a try. I did get sent the new cleanser that they have It's like the avocado creamy barrier cleanser. I haven't tried that yet I need to try it but that product I definitely want to pick up I I don't think it's on Sephora yet But as soon as it is I will 
will pick it up. There are some more like cheek products. So let's talk about those. There's some new stuff from Patrick Top Beauty, the Major Sculpt Cream and Contour Powder Bronzer Duo. I went back and forth on picking this one up. So you have to let me know, like, did you guys pick this up? How have you been liking it? I do feel like I'm back on like bronzer a little bit, whether it's powder, whether it's cream. I also feel like summer is just like the time for bronzers to shine. So I just didn't know if I wanted both in a compact, to be honest. I don't know. This one just didn't quite get me. So I didn't pick these ones up, but was tempted for sure from Patrick Ta. Then there's a new one size cheek clapper. And this one is specifically in that hot baby pink. This one's not nearly as hot as the glam light one, but these are all like that cool tone baby pink. That is what's popular right now. And I almost was tempted to pick this one up. I'm like, girl, you have this color in your drawers a million times over. Not that this wouldn't be good, but I just didn't need it basically in three different finishes also like I just, I didn't do it, but it was tempting as hell for sure. I really thought that the colors were fun and I liked the highlighter, the kind of shimmery aspect of this trio was one of the things tempting me the most from it, but I ended up skipping on that. And the other bronzer I was really excited to try out is from Milk Makeup. This is called the Sculpt Stick and they have their bronzer stick. I had that before and I did enjoy it, but it came in, I think one or maybe two colors. It didn't have a very good shade range at all, but for these sculpting products, which are a little bit more cool toned and meant to be more sculpting than bronzing. There is four different shades, which I'm so happy to see that. So I did end up picking this up, but it looks like they're in the small packaging, which this is $25. And if you remember the bronzer, I think it was Paulina. She was like panning that and it took her forever to get through it. Um, there was just so much product in that bronzer. So it seems like they're going with the smaller packaging, I think. I don't know, it'll be interesting once it gets here, but I was excited for that one. So I picked that up. I didn't love the concealer, so I hope I love this one. I know they're different products, but still. <laughs> there are some new Matte Obsession nine pan eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty, and there's two different color like ways for this. It seems like they're mostly powders, but there's also some cream to powder finishes in there. And um, for me, these, I just don't need them. I have mattes in so many palettes, so I don't need an all matte palette right now. I know some people love mattes. Some people only want shimmers. I am a shimmer heavy gal, you guys know. I think mattes have their place for sure. I think they can be really pretty. They help build out looks, they add structure. You know, they can really change the shape of your face if that's something you wanna do, or the shape of your eyes if that's something you wanna do, kind of play around with that. But like they give that type of definition, but I don't need them in these palettes. And I haven't, you know, I haven't bought a nine pan from Huda. I actually feel like I'm more interested usually in the larger palettes at this point, which is so funny because I tend to like smaller color stories, but I do think I kind of look out for the those larger palettes, which tend to come out around the holidays. So these are a pass for me personally. I think they'd be great staples for people if they don't have something like that, but I definitely have a lot. <laughs> a lot of mattes in tons of different tones and shades. Ooh, let's talk about this because you guys are gonna be shocked, I think. I think you're gonna be shocked that I picked this up. This is the Cosmic Brushes uh, new Muse palette. So I've heard so much about, I think it's the Serenity. And you guys know, I've definitely had my neutral kick. I I love my neutrals, I do. <laughs> I love a neutral, but I just love a ton of different looks, to be honest. I think I've kind of like come to that conclusion. Like I just like doing them my way. So it's like, even today I'm wearing something a little more colorful, but I still feel like it's kind of simple. And I'm just trying to remember what it is like I like to do with stuff and not feel like I have to put every color on my eyes or that I have to only do neutrals or only do color or only do something graphic or, you know, I just, I want to do what I want. I don't know. Anyway, I decided to pick this up. I just thought this was so pretty. Like the color story got me. I've heard so many great things about the formula. So I knew when this palette was launching, like I was pretty sure it's going to sell out because that was what was happening with the Serenity palette all last year. Okay. Like I swear to you, it recently stocked and sold out so often last year that I knew if I wanted this, even if I had an inkling of wanting this, I was going to need to be there on launch day. So I had my alarm set. I was there on the 10th of February <laughs> getting my palette. I was lucky enough to snag it. I know it sold out crazy fast. So I did pick this up and I was able to pick up the Serenity palette as well. So I'll probably do a video on them once I get them. It's a lot. I'm like over here, like, holy shit, so much color, but I'm excited to try this and just to try a different brand. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I'm excited to branch out in that way for sure. These were actually pretty affordable as well. I didn't realize $23. There was a bit of a shipping charge, but if you got over a certain amount, it was free. I just didn't get to that point. But yeah, I'm excited to try the Muse palette. I just, the color story is beautiful. Uh, those swatches are delicious. Like it got me, it freaking got me. And I kind of wanted to just like know what I thought about it. So I picked it up. I'm excited to try to make like my own looks with it. Like Lauren looks, what would I do with this palette? How would I use some of these? 
these colors. Same goes for the Serenity palette. Again, very colorful, but something had the itch, man. A little bit of that itch is back, baby. <laughs> Some of you who love color are like, yes, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to try that out once it gets here. Another thing weirdly tempting me are these Fenty lip products. Like, tell me why I'm being tempted by these Fenty football <laughs> lipsticks. They're the velvet liquid lipsticks. Um, and I believe they kind of like dropped with their Super Bowl performance and all that. But I just think the tones of these are pretty. I've seen some people swatch them. They look so good. And you guys know I love my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I really don't branch out from them because they're just, to me, the best. Like I have so many shades, but something about these has had me tempted. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually pick any of these up, but I'm not gonna lie. Like seeing them, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I like that. Like, are liquid lipsticks back, guys? Are they back? Glowy skin, cream blushes, liquid lipsticks. It's like a, a weird mashup of products, I feel like, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, kind of interested. <laughs> there is a new Jones Road Beauty blush. I actually got sent this. I should get it. Let's get it. I'll swatch it for you. Okay, so this is it. It's called Miami Beach. I've never tried any of these like balmy products from them before. Miracle Balm is what they are. First off, this is so much product. This feels like a, a travel size of a cleansing balm. <laughs> That's kind of the packaging here. But this is what it looks like. Again, lots of product. I haven't touched it yet because I don't know. I was like, maybe <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really thought by pressing into this, it would really like come up, but it's pretty solid. I don't know if it's just cause it's kind of cold out still. Oh yeah, it's a balm. Hmm, it's hard to even get a, I think it's just, oh, I got it. I broke the barrier. Okay, here we go. So that's it. That's the swatch with quite a bit of product actually. So very, I feel like light. This is giving that like more glow from the formula than a glow from the actual shimmer. I do think this has a tiny bit of like a golden sheen to it, but a lot of that glow I'm telling you is coming from the actual like oiliness, I guess, of this product or just kind of like, it's very emollient, okay? <laughs> very emollient. It feels like a salve or something. Kind of smells like one too. So I don't know, I haven't tried that. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie um, from swatching it in this moment. And, and I kind of wondered this from pictures and you know, just seeing it online, but um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the perfect product for me. I don't think that means it doesn't have a place. You know, I think, you know, everyone has different skin types, every, different skin concerns. But I feel like as I age also, I, I realize how much of so many of the products coming out are so focused on a targeted age range, really, you know? And not that anyone can't wear anything and you can do whatever you want, whatever makes you feel beautiful, that type of stuff. But, but products do work differently for different different uh, skin types, different ages of skin and textures of skin and types of skin. And depending on what you want, it's nice to have a range of products. So I'd love to know like what your thoughts are. If you've tried this product, does it work for you? Does it not? It's very creamy. I can see anyone who loves that like really glowy look where these kind of like Vaseline adjacent <laughs> type products uh, work for you. Or if you have really dry skin or you love that glow, like I could see someone liking this. It's just it's a shit ton of, you never need to repurchase. It's so much, but I could see it working for them. I don't know if it'll work for me, but it'll be interesting to kind of try it out. I feel like it, I would almost want it the most on bare skin, but I feel like my skin is already has like that redness naturally. So I don't even know if I'd love that, but I'm willing to try it out. But I do feel like I know some things about it are probably not gonna be a favorite of mine just for preference. Anyway, that is new. The balm isn't new, but that specific color of balm is new. Very light pigmentation though. If you want something that mostly has glow and a little bit of flush, that's definitely giving that. Okay, I wanna talk about this. I I think I talked about it in my last one or I've mentioned it somewhere, but these pop shots from Charlotte Tilbury, they just went on sale. I think as I'm posting this video that they're doing like kind of a, a pre-sale thing. So I did pick these up. I bought these this morning. I've been honestly waiting for them. They're one of the most anticipated items I have. And I don't know why I'm sitting here chomping at the bit to spend $34 for single eyeshadows, but I'm not gonna lie, I was. <laughs> I was like, I want them. I want them. I really like the singles that I picked up from Charlotte Tilbury earlier last year or at the end of last year. Um, that came out for holiday that were limited edition. There's a few left on the site, but I think all the colors I have are sold out there and I wanted to get my hands on these. There's like a rose gold kind of color that looks beautiful. It looks different than the actual rose gold shade that came out in the other singles. And then there's this beautiful ultraviolet color, which reminds me of like Max Stars and Rockets kind of. Like that's kind of the vibe of it. And I love a single shadow love. You, hello, look at my eyes. <laughs> I love like something simple like that 
and I want them. So I picked them up, very expensive. <laughs> that's just kind of what it is. Like that's just what it is. So um, yeah, I wanted them though. I did. And then I did pick up a few of the matte blushes as well to try out. So I'll probably do some type of video, probably showcasing mostly those two products. So be on the lookout for those. And let's talk about these little peepees. <laughs> These are the uh, Isamea Beauty Color Infusion Lipsticks that, lip dicks, really. Um, these are, I think they're balms. There's balms, there's lipsticks, and they definitely are very much in the fashion of what I've seen from this brand online anyway. I haven't tried anything from the brand myself, um, but from the first collection to the second collection, I think this is kind of like the third wave of releases I think we've seen. It's on brand for sure. <laughs> I I personally don't want these like I <laughs> I don't know I just don't I think it's funny but yeah I don't want them how much are these I really wonder how much they are they have to be kind of expensive right is a Maya beauty lip dicks it says lips shape challenges how makeup is perceived it calls for human connection and maintains our ethos of celebrating oneself as repression flourishes in everyday society lips fearlessly honors the freedom of ideas and ownership showcasing beauty in a way that only Isamea can okay it's sold out it's sold out baby so doing something right 95 dollars i knew it was gonna be a lot i knew it was gonna be a lot of money this black shimmery one it looks great on everyone's lips though i'm not gonna lie like that black tinted lip balm is definitely pretty i think pat mcgrath did that as well i don't know if it's like part of the permanent line but it has me like damn that looks nice. like a sheer black really adds something beautiful like yeah but yeah i'm not not for me i think Teresa did a video or i saw it on instagram or somewhere that she bought them i don't know if she's put that video let me see i think i just saw a picture of her holding it on instagram so i know she has it but um yeah <laughs> it wasn't the one for me but it definitely has people talking it's definitely controversial you know I, people are gonna have opinions about it either way but um yeah <laughs> I think it's just kind of funny and like, okay, okay. I'm not gonna buy them though. I didn't buy it, I'm not going to buy it. I don't know if I talked about this KVD foundation that came out, I am on the fence, I kinda wanna try it. It's the Good Apple Serum. It's kinda tough cause I, I love the NARS foundation. Like I said, it is so good you guys. Woo so good and so with that like i'm so excited to tell you that but that foundation's been out forever like you guys have been some of you guys have been telling me for a while to try that foundation so i'm so sorry i didn't listen to you sooner and there is a part of me that like wants to try more makeup that comes out i want to actually let you guys know my thoughts on stuff not just from looking at pictures but actually from trying things and letting you guys know what good things are i feel like there was a period of time where i just couldn't afford to do that i just do want to be more up to date with formulas and products and let you guys know what's good and what isn't good and so that is something that i've been like implementing on my channel but i am genuinely interested in this foundation it has a lot of um coverage it's full coverage but it's a little bit of that thinner more serum type of uh finish and also like thinness texture wise <laughs> what am i trying to say you guys know what i'm trying to say i know it so anyway i want to try it but i am a little like nervous just because i did not like the balm foundation so i'm like mm, will i like it will i not but this is one where shade wise i can't tell what's going on so i want to try it in store to shade match just because i feel like i'll get a better idea of what's going to work for me and i don't want to like have to exchange it you know and kind of guess online so that is something i am interested in trying it seems like those powder blushes and highlighters i'm excited to to try from the Sephora brand actually are available in Europe at this point but I don't think they're available in the US yet but those are something I do want to try once they drop just because they're a little bit more affordable I think that the type of formula they're going to be are something that I'm going to like like just kind of nice a soft hopefully like a little bit of sheen but not too much like that is something I'm interested in so those I definitely want to try there's a new fragrance that I'm kind of interested in from Killian it's the can't stop loving you I have tested this in store I just want to test it a little bit more but it has like that orange blossom it's very sweet but very summery kind of girly so that is something that I just want to really test because that shit's so expensive like <laughs> Killian perfumes are so pricey I don't think I've talked about any of this like like valentine's day love type stuff that's come out but the valentine's release from uh lh cosmetics i actually got sent this which is so awesome you guys know how much i love the shimmer saga quad and just different stuff that i've been trying from them so they sent out this palette for me i tried it in one of my more recent videos so i'll leave that link down below it's like the pink video so if you want to see that you know check that video out and i also did a little short just like some quick swatches of the palette and the uh lip slash eyeliner crayons that came out with it i don't know if i would have 
have bought this palette, this nine pan from uh, Linda Hallberg, but I have been enjoying using it since I do have it. And I've really enjoyed specifically the Siren eye pencil. Again, you can use it on the lips, you can use it on the eyes, you can use it on the cheeks. It's formulated to go wherever, just kind of like an artist pencil in general, kind of like the Makeup Forever ones. And I've been using it on my eyes a couple of different times and I really like that specific shade. It's really deep burgundy and I, I've really been enjoying it. So these little balms look nice from Lawless. These are the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tint lip balms okay there is like that kind of I think it was called je ne sais quoi from it cosmetics maybe is that the balm that was like the, the pH balms are back baby okay I talked about this in the <laughs> red flags video that I made back in December but yeah the pH stuff is not stopping that baby pink I'm telling you that hot flush of pink that everyone's pH tends to turn to mostly everyone's um that is back okay <laughs> so I think there's one of those in here but there's some other colors as well I'm looking at the thing and it technically doesn't say that it's pH changing. So maybe I'm just like kind of going off on for no reason here. So I apologize if it isn't, but there is like a baby pink color that kind of gives off that vibe. Like that baby pink color is back. I, it's so funny. Like you really think when you're away from these trends and then you switch to something like Whirl when that was really popular, right? And you look back and you're like, oh, look at that. It's never coming back. Like that's what you think. And um, <laughs> <laughs> to see it come back, I think it's just funny. Of course it's gonna come back, you know? It's like, I remember when we went away from like low rise and like Y2K type stuff. And I remember being like, this will never come back. And of course it did. Of course it's come back. Of course it's something that's popular again. And I can understand why now even, but I'm telling you there was a point in time where I'm like, there's no way. It's coming back, but it does. <laughs> and it's also like still a little bit modernized, but you know, it always comes back around, baby. I feel like we've been here a long time. I don't know if we've actually covered a lot, but we have been here a long time. So let's talk about just a few more things. There is a new palette from Beauty Bay. This is the Retro Love palette, and it's one of those bigger type palettes that they do. Um, I haven't tried one of those for a while since the Magic palette or whatever, Book of Magic. I think that's what it was called, but really pretty. I think that they have a really great great formula, especially for the price and everything. You know, there's this like weird collector side. I know you guys know it. I've made videos on it. It's like, man, it is sometimes hard to not like get into that weird collector mentality. The marketing works. Like I'm just that type of person too. Like I've always been a collector. I've always been someone who likes to like put things in their place and sort things. Like I used to literally sort beads and sort buttons for fun. <laughs> That's the type of person I am. So collecting is just second nature to me. Um, and I can see how these palettes would be collectible. That's the point. I'm getting at okay <laughs> I can understand why people would want to collect them but I don't think I'm gonna pick that up but I, I get it I guess is what I'm trying to say there is this sexy little product coming out from Kopari this is the Sun Shield body glow SPF 45 and rose gold oh my gosh you guys know <laughs> yeah. you guys know how attractive these freaking body oils are to me even though even though I do not put body oil on. I don't even use really lotion. I use a little more lotion than I used to because I'm a little dry. I get a little dry and I don't wanna necessarily be scaly, but I really don't love the feeling of lotion on me. But man, I feel like to me, body oils with the shimmer especially are just the fantasy item to me. They are the fantasy item. It's like, it feels like this unattainable person I wish to weirdly be, even though I don't, like I'm fine with not using a body. Like, let's get real. It's just this fantasy item. It's a fan. <laughs> most fantasy item to me. It looks so good. Like I want to be the girl with the dripping oiled on her shoulder. I want to be her. I'm not her though. I never am her, but I love it. It just reminds, it's like summer. It just feels great. And I do feel like I'm more into like bath and body products more than I ever have been. The Sol de Janeiro body oil that's come out. Tell me why <laughs> I've literally been been in Sephora and like put it on and like tried to break the fantasy of it by being like, okay, here's a product, try it. You want it so bad, you want, you want it so bad. Try this product in store, put it on your hands. And I remember being like, oh, all this oil's on my hands. Like, get me a napkin. <laughs> That's your reaction to putting the product you want to buy so bad on your hands? Why do you even want it? I know. They get you with the marketing on those, the fantasy of the marketing on those. It's like, Beautiful body, glowing oil, sexy, 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 summer sun, fresh, you're on a boat. Like I always bring up the yacht, you're always on a yacht. You are yacht bound if you have oils on for sure to me. Like you can't not be in my brain. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to see if there's one last thing to talk about. Um, I have two more things, I think. There's some new LYS Beauty uh, like eyeshadow palettes that have come out. These are kind of interestingly shaped. They're in that like triangle, which they do a lot of their products in. I know the highlighters like that, I think the bronzer, the blushes are like that as well. And so they just use that same shape, but then kind of split it up to make some eyeshadows. See them on QVC. So there is one over there right now. I don't know if there's other shades. I think there, there's at least two shades though. Yeah, I think I've come to the bottom that there's two shades, but you know, I know it's irrational. I know it's kind of stupid, but I don't necessarily love the pan shape. I know. I know it's annoying to say that. I know it's trying to be different, but it is something that I'm just like, I just don't love. I just don't but um, yeah, I think it's cool to see them expand into other products, you know and see what else is out there for them I really want to try if I, there's another cream bronzer I can add to my list <laughs> or cream contour type product that type of thing I kind of want to try their stick one that they have their cream bronzer contour stick that is kind of on my list to try at some point I've heard some good things I don't think I've talked about this one but the new Tom Ford quad this is in the shade I think forbidden pink there's something about it that's been tempting me and I have three Tom Ford quads and I don't really like them so I don't know why I'm tempted but especially because they're they're so expensive so expensive the one I'm looking at Bergdorf Goodman I feel like that is a name of a store most people don't ever go to like seriously i remember when like nordstrom to me was like holy shit like that is expensive and then there's bloomingdale's and you're like there's a bloomingdale's and then you go past that and you're like there's a neiman marcus there's a sax i feel like this is even a i'm like where <laughs> Where does this one go? I think this one tears them all. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think that the colors in here are so pretty. I really like the colors. There's something about it. It's been like catching my weird little eye, but I think I'm gonna like hold off and not, but um, I thought I would mention that. If you guys have it, let me know. Do you guys like Tom Ford formula? Let me know because I don't know, I wanna like it. And it seems like it could be up my alley for those simple, like kind of beautiful luxe little looks, but it's hard. it's been difficult to connect, just. We aren't connecting. We aren't connecting. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear any of your thoughts on these products down below. Thank you again for everything. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.